Hello, this is Erica at Morrison Reeves Library, and I'd like to tell you about a favorite author of mine. I really appreciate getting book recommendations from friends of mine. It saves me a lot of time in finding great books. And so I would like to share with you somebody who I think you will really enjoy reading. The author is Kate DiCamillo, and she writes books for readers who beginning second grade level, going on to third grade level, and on into middle school and early high school level. A series of hers that I read recently that I really enjoy is for some of those older readers. The first one in this series is called Ramey Nightingale, and it's about three ten-year-old girls who have a, an important adventure together and learn a lot about themselves and each other. And one of the things I really enjoy about it is the way that the people in it have very distinctive voices. Each of the three friends is very different emotionally. The one named Louisiana, who has a book of her own that comes after it, is very emotional and theatrical and poetic in her expression. Ramey is very down to earth um, and thoughtful and caring. And Beverly, who has her own book that talks about when she's 14 years old, is very terse and powerful and uh, doesn't talk about her feelings a lot, but obviously has really deep and important feelings. And what I like about these three books is that they have a very hopeful view of the world and human beings and the way we treat each other, and they also have a great sense of humor. So I highly recommend those three. Kate the Camillo's most recent book is interesting and in a very different kind of way. It's called The Beatrice Prophecy, and it's about a girl who has to hide in a monastery because she is in danger from somebody who's been re usurping her family's kingdom. And her relationship with the goat that you saw on the cover and also with the people around her who are helping to protect her and also helping to help her find herself and her call in life is also very hopeful. You can tell I like hopeful books. This book, also by Kate DiCamillo, is called The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, and it's about a rabbit. I don't know if you can see him on the cover there. And it's about his journeys through life. Um, and of course, he's a very human kind of rabbit who finds many different people when he seems most likely to be lost and lost forever who find him and make him a part of their family, and he makes them a part of his heart. Another book by Kate DiCamillo, which won the Newbery Award, is called The Tale of Despero. And it's very much in the shape of a traditional fairy tale, except that the hero is a mouse, and his sword is a needle. It has wonderful language in it, and um, some of the words may be a little bit hard for readers. Uh, it's listed as being about a fourth grade level, but one of his friends is called Chiaroscuro, uh, who goes by the nickname of Roscuro. And um, it's really good training for reading um, other sorts of classic books that were written 100 or 200 years ago, um, but in a very, uh, also has both very touching parts and very funny parts. So I think you'll enjoy that. Sorry, I dropped one of my books on the floor. This one is very quirky. It also won a Newbery uh, Medal. It's called Flora and Ulysses. Ulysses is that squirrel in the picture. This squirrel uh, does discover that he has unusual gifts among them the ability to fly sometimes, but also the ability to write wonderful poetry. So uh, 
Ulysses has important messages for all of us who want to find our own power and found, find our own creativity and embrace uh, the smelly glory of the world. For readers who are a little bit earlier in their career as readers, Kate DiCamillo has written the Mercy Watson series about a wonderful pig and her neighbors. This is in the second grade uh, reading range. It has lots of fun pictures and fairly big print, but also some big words in there. So um, it can be challenging for readers, but might also be fun for early readers who are ready for something that's a little bit more complicated and uh, definitely interesting. Again, some of the names might be a little tricky, like Eugenia Lincoln, but um, you definitely want to find out what Eugenia does in a crisis. Along with the Mercy Watson series, there's one for third grade readers that also talks about people in that same neighborhood. It's called Tales from Dekabu Drive. That's the road that Mercy Watson and her family lives on. Um, so titles like Francine Poulet Meets the Ghost Raccoon. This has fewer pictures in it, uh, more print, but uh, especially if you're already familiar with the Mercy Watson series, it's easier if you already have characters that you know to follow the, the storyline, even though there's more print and longer sentences. And finally, also for people who are in the second grade uh, reading range, it are the Bink and Golly series. So that's by Kate DiCamillo and Allison McGee. And that's not graphic novel format, but lots of pictures, fewer words, and the very interesting relationship, the friendship between Bink and Golly, who are very different characters who have very different voices. So I'm pretty sure that Kate DiCamillo writes what one of them says and Allison McGee writes what the other one says. So please come into the library, find some Kate DiCamillo books that you think you would enjoy, and begin a lifelong relationship with a wonderful author who always has something special to say to us. I'm going to be making more of these videos recommending particular authors. If you are somebody, either an adult or a child, who would like to share with Marson Reeves Library users, um, what your favorite author or your favorite book is, please contact us in Youth Services. We would love to help you make a video of yourself talking about your favorite books. If you're under 18 years old, we would need to get permission from your parents for that. Um, but we encourage you to become part of this where we share our love of books with each other. Thank you.